Hello everyone, I'm Anuki and welcome to my PC build. Oh shit, oh shit! Ah! <laughs> so this PC is gonna be mainly for editing, obviously, um, maybe some uh, gaming, I guess. I don't really play any games, but you know, basically I'm gonna be editing all the CODs and this and it's gonna be fantastic. The old PC I had, it's not bad, no, it's bad, it's bad. <laughs> I really needed something that can really be able to do what I need to do and the PC that I had, it just it just can't cut, it just can't keep up with what I need to do and although my edits aren't too crazy, it does start to show its age when I'm editing and the workflow definitely slows down. So I definitely needed something that can hold me over for at least a couple years too. Maybe I have to upgrade a couple things every now and then, but I think this will do it. So first thing I like to point out, this is not a tutorial video. Do not do anything I'm gonna do here. Please watch a serious video because this is for entertainment purposes only. Do not. And I repeat, do not do what I'm gonna do here. Okay, now that I got that out of the way, let's build this PC. <laughs> so I am gonna talk about the parts a little bit because I did take the time to make sure I had the parts that I want to use and I know that I'm gonna utilize, especially the RGB fans. I took a lot of consideration as far as what I'm gonna use, but the whole base of it and the whole brain, brain, I guess brain, that's gonna be, I was gonna use another word, but I couldn't find it. The brain is the Ryzen 7 3700X. Now, some of y'all might be saying, why don't you get the Ryzen 9 3900X? Cause that shit's $500 and I'm not spending that money. So for the graphics card, I went with the RTX 2080. The reason why I have a 2080 and not like a 2070 Super or a 2080 like Super or TI. First of all, I'm not gonna buy a 2080 TI. That's just like $1,200. I don't, I work minimum wage and I go to college. And then also I bought this, uh, fun fact, I bought this 2080 earlier this year. It was one of the first purchases I made and I bought it a week before the Supers launched. I was so mad because after that happened, the price slashed for the 2080. So basically I just bought it for a really upscale price. But it's whatever because it's, it's here and I have a 2080, I guess, so it's whatever. I, otherwise I would have bought the 2070 Super. It has a lot, of the, a lot of the power that's good for the 2080 too and it's cheaper. But whatever, what is done is done. But I have a 2080, it's a nice card from MSI. Looks cool, RGB, everything is good. And it's fat, it's real heavy too, so. Can't wait to get that through. For the motherboard, I have the X470 Gaming Pro Carbon. Now, you guys are probably saying, I mean, I'm saying you guys, but most of you guys probably don't know a lot about computers, but I'm gonna say it anyways, because I took a lot of time to look through all these parts. The reason why I did this and not an X570 is because I'm not gonna use PCI Gen, what is it, Gen 4? Because I don't have any PCI Gen 4 items. <laughs> so I don't have like a super fast drive. I just have this guy, which is fast, the Samsung 9, uh, 970 Evo. And that's gonna be what I'm gonna use for my boot drive. But I don't have a Gen 4 thing from I think uh, Oris or uh, Corsair, I believe. Those are, those are the only two that have a Gen 4. And those are fast, yes. But I don't have them, I don't need them, and I'm gonna notice the performance from the 970 Evo anyways because of, uh, based off of what I've been working off of before. So I think I'll be okay with it. And the X470, it's a very powerful board, and the specific one I have is very powerful too. And I don't need an X570 specifically because I'm not gonna spend like $200 for a lower spec X570 if I can just buy a sub $200 X470 with more features, it's more souped out, right? So I think that's better for my money. Since I was talking about drives, yes, I have this 970 Evo, that's gonna be my boot drive. And then I have a one terabyte Samsung solid state drive. This is, for now, it's gonna act as um, my main storage. You're talking uh, a lot, by the way. I am, I know. I'm such a nerd. This is gonna be a long video. Okay, for the power supply, 850 gigs, EVGA. I think that's fine for what I'm using. Fully modular, everything is great. AIO cooler, um, it's the Cooler Master uh, fucking ML240R. It, I know there's some better ones out there, but this is one of the first ones I bought. I, I really like the look of it, and there's a lot of uh, kind of eh reviews about it, especially about the fans, about what the noise they make. So I bought a couple fans. Um, this is the RAM, by the way. I'll talk about that in a second, but I just bought a couple fans, two to replace it, and then three for the actual case. And then, you know, speaking of the RAM that I just put away, 32 gigs. Two sticks, just in case I want to expand, get another 32 gigs and then get 64, which I won't use, but I have that option if I want to. I know you're supposed to get 3600 for like Ryzen 3, but 3200 is fast enough, it's fine. And plus I got this um, kit before I even knew I was gonna go Ryzen, so you know, 3200 speed, whatever. It works, it'll do its job. I think that's, oh, uh, um, the case. So the case is the Lian Li Dynamic 011 Air? Shit, hold on. Well, it's a really cool looking case and it's not the best as far as performance goes and as far as like um, airflow and stuff goes, but it's okay. It's for the looks, right? So I think it's okay. Th I, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's everything for my parts. I did, I'm sorry, I've, I talked a lot about it, but I did want to talk and make sure that you guys know what I'm going, uh, what, I'm, what I want to use, why I'm utilizing every single part and why I picked each part and that I actually know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, let's build this. Motherboard. Motherboard. 
Ah, uh, yes. I really hope this works. I haven't done any testing on any of the parts. I just did like a kind of reality check to look at each component and make sure nothing was bent or broken. And it looked like nothing was bent or broken, so I'm gonna hope that everything is fine. Again, not a tutorial, because I've built two computers so far, and each of which haven't been as expensive as this computer. So I'm kind of scared, but that's okay, because there's nothing wrong with being scared. Let's get, oh, that's right. So it's because this is an X470 board, I don't have, like, you know, obviously this isn't updated to run Ryzen 3 yet. So I have this Ryzen 2600, which will run off the X470 board natively. So let's go ahead and do that. I probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> okay, see you later, buddy. Please don't break. Okay, cool. <laughs> Bro, something's gonna go wrong. I'm calling it. Something's gonna go wrong. Okay, that goes in. There we go. Uh, there we go. We're chilling. Oh, I don't have my screwdriver. Fuck. Oh, I found it. <laughs> you know, I could just very poorly record the rest of this. It just really pissed you off. You know, I could take these screwdrivers and jam them right up your ass. Oh, by the way, I have Zach, my friend, recording for me, by the way. He also brought his lights and stuff. Don't think you're special. What? Okay, latched on. There we go. What? Do you want me to move out the way so you can get B-roll? No, dude, you're good. Eh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm just not gonna use your B-roll. <laughs> fine, everything's fine. Look at your shaky hand. You know what, Arthur? You can... Film it yourself then, bitch! No, bitch! <laughs> Clean your dust off your fucking lens, piece of shit! <laughs> it is kinda dirty. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Don't worry, I didn't, I didn't know what I was doing the moment I started. Hey, Ram, in those the Ram, in the Ram, this shit around. Yes, 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 not that one, yes. Uno. Dos. There we go. Uh, graphics, graphics card. card. Wait, yes. Would you want to put the graphics card in before you put At the it? moment, yes, because I still need to BIOS flash it. So I have to put it in and then take it out. Um, oh, actually, no, that's not true. First, we need to do the M.2 slot, because I have one. Okay, so this actually has the M.2 drive, which I've never used before, but we're going to explore that together. This is in here. Yes! I knew what I was doing. Where did that thing go? Right here. There we go. Yes! This is what I meant to do the whole time. Right here. Yep, there it is. Oh god. <laughs> is it because we're filming, Arthur? It's because we're fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Here we go. See if I can build a PC. I think anybody can build a PC. Okay. Next is gonna be the graphics card. Where did I put that? It's right here. Oh, this thing is actually mad heavy. <laughs> okay, so are you gonna wait to put it in the case until after you? Yes, I'm not gonna put it into the case after until I get a test post. So basically, unfortunately for everyone, we're not gonna have a grand reveal post where I turn it on for the first, or I turn everything on for the first time in the case and we hope that it posts. Unfortunately, we're not gonna do that because I need to BIOS flash this. So we're gonna have to have a test, we're gonna have to have a test boot and then a monitor rigged up and everything so we can flash it. And then we can finally go ahead and do a final turn on. So unfortunately, the grand reveal is not gonna exist. Ooh, it's a tanky boy. Look at that. Oh yeah. Remove before gaming. Ugh, remove before gaming, yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, bud. Oh God, this thing is fucking huge. <laughs> this is gonna, oh God. We're gonna put, oh shit. Forgot the fucking cover. Here. <laughs> oh wait, we gotta put this up here. There we go. All right, and that is a computer. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> that should be everything for now, just for our test boot. And Wait. What? Oh, never mind, the NVMe. Um, yes, that drive is in. I don't need that drive yet. I'm actually gonna put that in last because I'm gonna cheat because I have two drives. I'm just gonna have this so that way when I install Windows, it's forced to go to that NVMe and not accidentally onto the other drive. Life You're hacks. doing a smart. I don't have enough space for a mouse pad. <laughs> Wait, Arthur, you know what I just realized? You haven't plugged in the power supply. Fuck! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> God damn it! I knew I was forgetting something. I always forget something. Because Nuki always forgets something. Nuki, you're so forgetful. Fucking piece of shit. God damn weeb. All right. 750 watts of fully modular goodness from EVGA. Fantastic. Yes. Yep. Okay, we need this guy. Uh, VGA, 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 uh, another VGA because there's two 8 pins on this guy. Uh, 24 pin, yes, and then the, 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 yes, 8 pin EPS. All right, that should be everything for now. And then the power supply itself. All right, where am I going to fucking put this shit? <laughs> 
Oh, fuck. That sounded bad. Oh, well. I actually don't know what that was. <laughs> I didn't even push down that hard, so I don't think I broke anything. We, were, we work on the budget. Yes. 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 All right. You good? Sick. <laughs> okay. So, now I got the power supply going, and I should get my screwdriver real quick. Now, we're going to see if I can figure out this whole starting thing. But it shouldn't be that bad. Moment of truth, if I can figure this out at least. One, two, three. Yes, there it is. No? Okay, maybe this one. Is that even the right ones? Maybe I'm just not put... Oh, that's, I'm putting the wrong ones. There we go. Yeah! Yeah, we got it! Okay, one of the sticks is not glowing, but that's because it's not plugged in all the way. Okay, hold on. There we go. Now it's in. I don't know if I should have done that while it was going, but that's okay. Yeah, we got it. We got this just because I randomly plugged in one of the RAM sticks, but I think that should be okay. But yes, we got it. 2133, I think it should say, yeah, 16 gigabytes, because I just plugged in that one again because I forgot to do so. 2600, uh, yep, everything should be good. So let me go ahead and hit uh, F1 to run setup, and we'll make sure, reality check that everything's there. Yes, yeah, buddy. The PC is almost done. Yes. Now I have to make sure everything is good. So what I haven't done is grab my flash drive over there to BIOS flash, but let me just do a reality check really quick to make sure everything is good. 2133 memory, obviously my memory is at 3200, but we can fix that in a second. I won't do it until we actually get everything up and running first. All right, everything looks like it's recognized and I think I need to restart it again because I forgot to put this guy in, but I'm gonna have to BIOS flash it now and get it running for 30, uh, actually uh, my 3700 AMD, and then we'll be golden. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart, no, I'm gonna plug it in first and restart. I don't know if this works. I know you can short the power, but. Can you short it over there? There we go. All right, so I reset it. Um, the fans are still going, so that's good. Um, two of them are spinning, so that's a good sign, I guess. 32 gigs of memory now, so that's also good. It's recognized everything and we're chilling, so I'm gonna go ahead. Now that it's um, the USB for the flash is done, we'll edit and or enter flash mode. And now we're gonna just hope to God that we don't get a power outage. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see if I remember how to get to, oh no, I just used this. X470, BIOS flash, this guy, that one, yes. Yes, flashing baby. So now we're in the BIOS, everything looks pretty good. So I think I'm ready to finally switch it to my other um, Ryzen 3700X, get the CP or get the cool AIO cooler in and the case and finally finish the setup. But it's, this is good news. This means everything, all, the, all my parts are currently working at the moment. So I think we should be good to go. <laughs> it's going into Windows, I know. Yeah, I have to yank the, the drive and shit. But let's close it, get into BIOS where I know it's safe to turn off first. <laughs> It is case time, fellas, boys and girls. We in the dynamic 01, 011, 011, one, something like that. Firmly grasp, it. Firmly grasp it. Oh, dude, that case looks fucking sick. Oh, bro, you haven't even seen the front yet. Oh, yeah, bro. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Where are the legs? So this is a Lian Lee dynamic thingamabobber. It looks awesome. Probably not the best as far as like airflow goes, not the best as far as performance goes, but it's a cool looking case. So, you know, I'm not necessarily the aesthetics guy and I definitely prefer performance over aesthetics, but this is just such a nice case. I eyed this case since the beginning of when I started getting parts for this and I always wanted to use it, but I just felt like it wasn't a good idea, but it's just, I, I, at the end, I decided to go with it. It's a nice case, white and black, side panel, and front panel all glass. It has the I.O. on the side, which I'm not really gonna use because the way I'm positioning it, I'm not really gonna use the front I.O. So I don't necessarily have to plug everything in. Other than that, I think we're good to go and start working on all of this junk. All right, let's do this. Bam, 3700, put this back in. Uh, I can't pull anything out. Is this the manual? That's the manual. Where are my screws? Here they are, that's what I was looking for. Oh, are these, oh yes, the standoffs are already freaking in. Bless, let's go. Okay, so I just have to mount this shit in. Oh, so before I do that though, the IO shield that I threw somewhere. Eh. Yeah, huh. huh, okay, that's in, that's correct, that's correct, that's correct, that's correct. Oh my fuck. <laughs> Don't worry, my friends. It's all good. All right, so I got the motherboard in, all the standoffs are in place, and now, well, I'm deciding what I want to do first, but I think um, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the IO so that we can start getting things and move the dust filter out the way. Um, all right, now, this question is how I'm gonna be able to do this. Cause I've never done an AIO before. And there's the radiator, so I think it's gonna go like this. Have this guy going like that. 
and it'll all be oh, hunky dory. Now the thing is, I'm gonna be replacing the fans with some Corsair fans, which will be used in conjunction with some sort of light, the lighting node pro or some shit like that. So I gotta figure out how that's gonna work, but we'll find out, we'll figure it out together. We'll figure it out together. All right, so, <laughs> been a while since the last cut. It's actually been about a, an entire week since the last time I worked on this computer with my friend Zach. Unfortunately, he's out cold and he couldn't make it and the next time we can meet to film will be like, in another week, so I cannot do that. <laughs> I have edits to that really need to be finished that have been sitting on me basically for a really long time and like I'm tired of working on that computer over there that's super slow and annoying to work on when I have a, cap a, a very capable computer right here that's ready to be used. I just have to finish building it and then things will be, you know, going a lot better. So unfortunately, we're just gonna have to continue this solo. So I apologize for the continuity errors for the rest of the video. I apologize for the different mic, although it might sound a little better. It is gonna be solo, so the mic isn't gonna be on me this time. And his camera was a lot better than mine, so. I apologize, but at least he left his light. So where we left off, uh, we were, I was just about to install the AIO cooler, which I've done already, as you can see. I saved you guys the, the, the hassle of watching me figure out how to install this. The installation for this actually didn't take a very long time. I've never installed an AAO cooler before, however, it wasn't exactly rocket science. What was rocket science and what was actually harder than rocket science was replacing the fans for this Cooler Master AIO with Corsair fans. Now I thought it would be pretty simple, however it just wasn't and I'm gonna show you. So if we go around back, you can see the absolute monstrosity of wires that are everywhere and it took me, listen, all right, look, 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 look. it took me like, Six hours to figure, six, six, from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. Six hours to figure out how the hell this is supposed to work. <laughs> Go ahead and look at that monstrosity and decide for yourself if it's worth it. Another thing I'd like to point out really quick is that obviously I have uh, the AIO set on the top as an exhaust. Now, I bought this AIO. It was one of the first things I bought, which in retrospect was a really bad idea. But by a remorse aside, it was the first thing I bought and I originally planned to only have a 240, but then, well, I bought a case that can very much benefit from a 360. Obviously, the cooling performance will be not as good as an intake and not as good as a 360 rad, but if you don't know anything about computers, you probably don't care. Oh yeah, that's right. So I also... Fuck. Okay, and with that, uh, I think that should be it. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue building. There's actually not that much I have more to do, so I'm pretty sure all I have left to do is the fans and the graphics card, which is, yeah, actually, yeah, that's it. Just the fans and the graphics, all right, sick. <laughs> all right, and we're back. I got the fans loaded. Uh, these are the intake fans that'll come from the back. And yeah, these, this is already looking pretty sick. I already like how it looks. Obviously, if you guys know how Corsair fans look, I mean, uh, I can, you kind of imagine from the, the way it exhausts. This is the front side, so obviously, so you know, this, it'll have this ring, it'll be a nice RGB glow. And unfortunately, this is the back side, so you get to see all of this, you know, this sticker stuff. But I mean, there's not much you can do about it. It, it just is what it is. That's kind of how, when you're building PCs, you know that that's what it's gonna look like, and it's just kind of what you gotta deal with. But hopefully this is enough airflow for now. Now, right at the moment, the, the priority is getting it up and running and working. Obviously, I wanted to be at peak performance, but as long as this turns on and boots and it gives me a signal, we post with the new, with the 3700 and I can edit COD, I think everything will be okay. So hopefully we're chilling. But now I got those and now I think we're finally ready to hook it up. So what I've done already is I've already pushed the 24 pin and uh, you know all the, all the power supply cables. I've already pushed them through the grommet. However, I'm not just gonna plug them in as, as it is. Now these are nice cables. They're, you know, they're braided EVGA cables and they're black and they look nice. However, what I'm going to be using are these guys. Yes, all right. So these are power supply cables from Asia Horse. So basically, they are exactly what you think they are. They're extension cables, which means they'll plug to the end of uh, these parts that, that are you know, black, obviously. However, I wanted white cables, so we have white cables. Like I said, these are just gonna plug to the, to the ends of these little bits, so that way you can plug it into the graphics card and everything, and it should be all good. Speaking of which, I should probably put the grab. Yeah, you know what, before I do that, let me put the graphics card in. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that. Take one. Yeah. And two. Take ah, two. Yes, got it. Pop the thingy and place the thingy. Yes. Bro, look. <laughs> look how huge this is. Look at the sag. Oh my god. Well, I haven't screwed it in yet. <laughs> Screw one and two. Is my phone ringing? 
My phone's ringing. Dad freaking coming. All right, now the sag isn't that bad. Actually, it's still pretty bad, yet. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna be the idea of it. Yes, yes, yes. All right, now we can start using these cables. I actually don't have all the connectors. I'm missing a second, uh, I'm missing a second 8-pin EPS connector because this one only comes with one. And traditionally that should be okay with motherboards, but because of the motherboard that I have, which is the Gaming Pro Carbon, it has two fat eight pins, which is gonna be fantastic for overclocking. However, one, my cooler isn't that good for overclocking. <laughs> and two, uh, that's a lot of power draw. So traditionally I wasn't able to get a kit with two and I would have to buy two kits in order just to have an extra cord. I didn't want that. So I'm just gonna use the default EPS connectors for that. And it should be okay. It's not gonna be shown to me. It's just gonna be on the top. It'll kind of look like this, but the white cables will be um, for the 24 pin and the graphics card. So I think it'll look still fine. So with these guys, I'm gonna be taking these combs so I can train these nicely because as you can see, they're all just noodling everywhere. But with these combs, I can go ahead and put these on and it'll make them a little more nicer. Okay, now that I got the combs on the wires, now it kind of looks like this. Now the cables are gonna look like this. They're gonna have a nice bend to it. It is good to note that now they're really rigid and that's kind of how like these kind of aftermarket wires are gonna work, especially if it's not from like a good brand like Cable Mod. These are kind of like cheaper ones, so they're not like the really good quality ones. However, you know, they do serve their purpose. They're, um, they're white, but either way it looks nice and you can kind of imagine it going into there for the build and it'll, it'll, look, it'll look nice, right? Yeah, you can kind of see it. Yeah. Okay, unexpected just happened. So I, uh, <laughs> so I got, I got these cables in and I was gonna get ready. I got the plugged into the other power supply and the combs were kind of short. So I was adjusting them a little bit and, and to do so I had to yank the cords a little bit. However, I might've yanked a little too hard and one of the, one, one of the wires fell off and it, it tore off and it didn't just, it's not something that I could just plug back in. This shit broke. So, man, I mean, to be honest, I don't even know if this was like broken to begin with. I mean, I didn't tug that hard and this is the only wire that came off. So like, fucking, fucking, how are you gonna frick, how are you? How are you gonna? Uh, uh. Okay, good news. Uh, let me grab this back. All right, I guess you can kind of see it. I jammed it back in. <laughs> so I hope it works. Um, I heard a click. I heard a snap. So it, it sounds like it seated itself somehow. Um, so I'm gonna really hope that that's okay. And that means that it'll work and my motherboard will not fry and all these components will not just get just absolutely catch on fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we're back. Uh, I got the 24 pin in with the with the cables, uh, with the combs and the cable sleeved, uh, sleeved freaking uh, those. <laughs> with the white sleeve extension cords that are running through. Hopefully, like I like I just said, it'll this will still work even though that one pin or that one wire came off and I just kind of jammed it back in. It did seat though. I heard a click and it's seated and it's not gonna come off again unless I yank it again. Also something to note, these bends are very stiff. So I, I did mention earlier that the wires are really stiff so that is something to note if you're going to use um, kind of cheaper cables like these if like not cable mods but rather like an Asia Horus and I know Antec has these these ver feel very rigid but I mean with a little training it'll work I think that should be good also I got the CPU uh, the, the EPS plugged in for the CPU power obviously like I said uh, there weren't enough uh, white sleeve cables. See, I would need this one, which is a, this one is gonna be eight pin, which is what I need for the motherboard, which is two eight pins. However, I only have one of these eight pins, but I have two six pins, which is a little more traditional for C or EPS power, but it is what it is. It doesn't look that bad. There's still black cables and uh, it looks kind of nice. And from afar, it's gonna be off in the corner. So it realistically is not gonna look that bad. Honestly, this looks fantastic so far. Like just take a, taking a step back, this looks fantastic. Now, obviously the GPU is gonna sag in hell, but you know what, this looks nice. I love this. I love how it's looking so far. Once I get the fans down here too, it's gonna be super optimal. But for now, just looking at it, what not even the lights turned on, this is good. Now this is basically everything. Everything is plugged in. Um, all that's left to do is to put in the front panel connectors, which I've kind of laid out right here. I've already taken the liberty of taking these front panel connectors and sticking them out the holes so I can, we can reach to the back. And then if you've never really done it before, luckily for this motherboard, it kind of shows the, uh, it shows the connection for these. Uh, honestly, I probably should have put this on before the graphics card because now I don't have a lot of room. But uh, yeah, this that, that after that, everything should be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. Luckily there isn't too much. There's just LEDs and a power switch. There's no reset. Since I'm not using the front IO, I don't have to plug in the USB 3, the USB-C, or any of the 
HD audio. Uh, so luckily that's looking clean in the fr in down here. I don't, uh, there's a USB 3.0. There's also one kind of over here, which would be nice to use because the graphics card is blocking it. So I could have, to be honest, I could have still plugged it in and just have it used. But to be honest, I'd rather just have it nice and clean. I'm not gonna touch the front audio anyways, other than to turn the, turn the goddamn PC on. So hopefully this should be okay. And overall, once this is going, this is gonna look super nice. Knowing me, I probably did something wrong, but in theory, this should be it. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and let's just pray, y'all. Let's pray. <laughs> uh, let me make sure this is on. Oh, it's not on. There we go, now we're on. Whew, I really hope this works. Let me just do a sanity check. Quick tugs on everything. Everything should be good. All right, moment of truth, y'all. Three, two, one. We have light. Yes, it's rampant. It's going loud. Oh, I should turn on. Oh, shoot. I don't have the monitor on. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't have any light on my keyboard. Oh, yes, I do. I got light on the keyboard. Got light on the mouse. <gasps> yes, bro. We did it. We posted. All right. So a couple things changed. Um, if you remember from the very beginning, uh, it has uh, this says 16 gigabytes of RAM because I accidentally had one of the RAM things. I'm like, oh, yes. It's taking it in taking all the air. It's exhausting up here. Yes, that's a good sign so far. 3700X was recognized. That's good. Samsung SSD H6. Oh, there's a SATA port there because that changed. That changed because now I added the SATA port. So basically, what the screen is, if you guys don't know, is that if you made any changes to um, the you know the PC, like for example, if I swapped out the RAM, like if I had 16 gigs and then I put in 32 gigs, if I turned on my computer, I would get this screen. Basically, all I just gotta do is hit F1 to run startup, and we're on the BIOS. Oh my God! Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh, we got it, bro. We got it. <laughs> we got it, bro. Look at it. It looks so pretty. Oh my God. So, one thing to note: these are lighting up, as you can see. These are not. The reason why they're not is because I forgot to plug them into the RGB head. Uh, the um, the what's it called? The the RGB. Uh, Hub. Wait, did I forget to? Actually, I don't know if I forgot to. Hold on, let me check. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot to plug it into the <laughs> to the hub. Okay, I can do that in a sec. But other than that, uh, the fans are all spinning. Samsung Galaxy 97 Evo. It looks like my other drive didn't get recognized, but that's okay. I'm not really booting off of that drive. But other than that, we should be good. Oh yes, yes. Seems yes. like street lights glowing happen to be just like moments passing in front of me so i hopped in the cab and i paid my fare see i know my destination i'm just not there all these street lights glowing happen to be just like moments passing in front of me so i hopped in the cabin i paid my fare see i know my destination i'm just not there in these streets In these streets I'm just not there in these streets And with the third mic change of the video <laughs> I bring you the conclusion of my PC build. So right off the bat, sorry to disappoint the tech nerds like me in the video. I'm not gonna have graphs or benchmarks or anything like that. This video has gone for far too long to be able to do that. So I'm just gonna give my general my general overview of the PC so far after using it for five months. It has been five months since the last time I recorded this. And I'm gonna talk about the general takeaway, the conclusion, right? Why? Why? What was the point of me making this video right before that i want to mention a couple changes i made since the last time i recorded for the build um these three fans along the side that were initially intake they are now exhaust so they're exhausting air out the back uh the two fans on the aio that initially were exhaust are now intake so now fresh air is coming inside the case from the aio i also added three noctua fans i don't know if i mentioned this in the video. i don't think i mentioned it but i did get three noctua fans initially they're in the bottom blowing intake from the bottom now one of them is still in the bottom so one uh one fan is actually still blowing intake straight into the gp so giving a fresh air into the GPU. Two are now on the top, also blowing intakes. Now my AIO has quad intake, if you will. <laughs> Not something I'd recommend, but it is possible <laughs> and that's what I'm doing. So overall, am I happy with the PC? Am I happy that I spent the money that I did for this just to go from my old PC to this PC? 
Yes, I mean, it's simply just because I built this. This is my PC. Before, it was a pre-built from CyberPower. Nothing wrong with it, obviously. It's just that this is something that I built. And that's kind of what I want to talk about it, to conclude this video, to conclude this very long build log that some of you may not even still be watching for. The main point of this video, why I recorded myself in the first place, why I had my friend Zach record for the first half of it, right? Why I didn't just build it off 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 camera and then tweeted it out and got a couple likes right the reason why i recorded myself is because i wanted to showcase that if i can do it you can do it <laughs> now the thing about this pc is that there's a lot of unorthodox things right the case is not a very traditional tower that you would build in which is something that i would recommend for first time builders especially but even with that said I was still able to figure it out and I'm not very smart <laughs> like five months ago I did not know as much about PCs as I did right now so I was able to figure out how to build this and I got it to work I was able to troubleshoot a ton of issues too like min Windows wasn't working my fans weren't spinning IQ software wasn't recognizing the fans lighting up as you saw in the video I think um, these three fans weren't lighting up initially and I was able to figure all of this out without that much knowledge of of computer building, right? Computer building is not that hard. Before this PC, I've only built two computers. The first build was not nothing crazy, like $400 worth of parts I wanted experience before I actually built an exp expensive computer, right? I, I feel like I should have some experience building beforehand. And all I did was just follow a tutorial and I, and I built it flawlessly. No issues whatsoever. I had zero troubleshooting. It just worked. I put everything in and it worked. The second computer I built was for Zach, which was the cameraman, like I said, for the first half of the video. For my second build, I taught him. Like he built, like I helped him, but I taught him how to build it himself. It's not that hard. So I could have very easily gotten just a traditional case, right? A traditional case with a traditional layout. I could have done that as my build. It would have been so easy. Everything would have just been plug and play. It would have nailed down that anybody can do it. You just need a tutorial to follow along. It's not that hard nowadays. But those videos are out everywhere already. What about me? I'm not a tech YouTuber. I'm an anime editor <laughs> and I am enthusiastic about tech. So I wanted to build a computer for me, something that I would use and something unique, something that I can showcase. So a very unorthodox case and I figured it out. So if I can figure it out, so can you with the normal kit with, with the normal case with a normal build with a normal layout everything is just normal probably no rgb because that sucked though that i would not ever recommend rgb ever <laughs> but in the end i figured it out i figured it out and i'm an idiot <laughs> so if i can do it on this very confusing computer then you can do it on a normal computer and that's basically what I wanted to make with it. That how that 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 is the conclusion of this video. So that's it for this super long video. It was so much fun to record. It's so much fun to edit. Thank you guys for sticking through these videos I've done lately. I haven't been uploading any edits. Um, so far, I've only done Minecraft videos, and I have another Minecraft video that's going to go up next week. And I apologize that I haven't been doing any edits, but I'm working on edits right now. I don't have any to upload right now. I'm gonna have one up pretty soon though. If you follow my Twitter, you would know that I've been working on multiple edits one called going bad which will be up pretty soon so stay tuned for that i guess other than that thank you for bearing with me for these couple of a couple of months i'm doing my best to come out of inactivity as you can see from the minecraft videos and stuff at least i'm uploading something right at least i'm uploading so that's all i have thank you guys for coming through and thank you guys for bearing with me for these past couple months i'm going to be right back to it so don't even trip all right bless see ya Literally kill yourself. That's not going in. <laughs> <laughs>